The new girl on the block has crypto bros crushing on the latest DeFi diva, Crypto Sugar Mama. But don't fall in love just yet because she is probably about to rug you. Carol Finance is out here shaking her money maker, scamming you all the way home with the next generation of Ponzi scheme. Reviews are popping up across the internet talking about this DeFi darling's crazy returns, continuous profits, and getting into a committed long-term relationship with the voluptuous Carol Finance. Could it be true love or will this chart end and heartbreak. <coughs> Rug. <coughs> Luckily, I have invested thousands of hours into researching projects just like Carol Finance, so I will show you my research in this video. But before I do, make sure that you smash that like button. Help me hit my goal of 10,000 subscribers by the end of 2023. And boom, bang on that notification bell. Comment anything that you want in the relevant sections. I appreciate it. Now, let's get into whether or not Carol is going to be one of those fatal attractions. Carol is a bonding protocol with added staking. Let's be real, this is going to go down. Their logo is literally Caroline Ellison. They're hiding in plain sight, my friends. Catching that SBF FTX trend, acting like they are parodying it, then they rug you because you were dumb enough to participate in a business that is based on deception, lies, fads, memes, and all around degeneracy. You're better than that. Don't fall for this crap. What self-respecting business makes their logo a known scammer? Not one that you want to be in and not one that you want to invest in, that's for sure. Read between the lines on this. A bonding protocol with added staking? If you haven't heard of this before, it basically means there is no ICO or initial point offering, that it's a fair launch project that is community owned. This method of DeFi prevents market manipulation that happens on AMMs like pump and dump schemes. It also means that the only way to get with Carol is to start a bond and put up some ETH or more recently some BNB to start earning and start getting some love from her. Bonding protocols incentivize reinvesting. Naturally, they're playing off of that gambling, compound to the moon, degen, DeFi, craze BS. And it also uses a mathematical relationship between token supply and token value to determine the sale price. And yeah, this girl's a little bit of a nerd, but she's got boys lined up around the block. And don't you want to be a part of it? Probably not, but there's about 500 active members so far that do. I mean, let's be real. She just got in the game in August this year. So as a community member, you get compounding rewards for rebonding your Carol. You can vote on governance proposals and increase the value of your Carol tokens. The Carol protocol has two features that allow investors to earn passive income. Woohoo! The first way is Carol bonds. When you buy a bond, you're making a deferred purchase of Carol tokens at a certain price. You choose the length of the bond. 20 to 30 days, and then when that term expires, you receive the full amount of Carol tokens plus an additional 20 to 30% interest, depending on the length of the bond that you choose, of course. Those are some pretty high returns. Okay. It's kind of like the DeFi version of buying TradFi government bonds, but with way higher interest rates and not legit. <laughs> The second way is staking. You can also stake the tokens from your bond, offering a substantial boost to your ROI. That makes sense. Profit from liquid staking is capped at 150%, preventing excessive growth and maintaining system stability. Yeah, that's a really, really stable and um, not excessive ROI. <laughs> Sustainability. The daily yield from liquid staking depends on the total token liquidity, users' personal liquidity participation, and the duration during which the user does not claim or sell the token. With an active locked bond, you can use it for liquidity staking by adding Carol tokens from your bond. The immediately available quantity plus 30% plus the ETH to the pool. All right, the bond cannot be used partially, so if your bond is 1.3 ETH, you'll need to add another 1.3 ETH for liquidity staking. Keeping the money in the protocol, keeping the hamsters on the wheel, man. The base yield for staking is 2% per 24 hours, but she offers bonuses for liquidity plus 0.1% for every 25 ETH that you put into the project. Now I ain't saying she's a gold digger, but a personal bonus of plus 0.1% to yield for each of your one BNB in the stake as well might just suggest that. This sounds super legit though, right? No. 
And there's also a hold bonus of plus 0.1% for every 48 hours without claiming or withdrawing Carol. She's like, dude, just leave me alone and I'll give you a bonus, all right? These bonuses do increase, but max out at 2% for each bonus, which is a maximum of 8% altogether for the total bonuses and base rewards. These numbers have investors literally drooling all over Carol, and for good reason, because that literally beats inflation in a big way, in like one day. Oh, yeah, makes sense. So originally, Carol was only available on base chain, but recently she announced that they are creating a fork onto the BNB chain. That could make Carol all the more appealing as she breaks into this platform with even larger daily trading volume. Because right now, the project has a total value of about $700,000 as of just a few days ago. Total volume being traded is like 500K a day. So watch out because there are a few imitators out there that are looking to kind of capitalize on this market cap. So if you're going to get involved in Carol, like at the very least, make sure it's the right Carol. But another thing that is apparently super bullish, Carol announced on their Twitter X account that until November 20th, which has come and passed for a reason, I didn't want to put this out, 5 p.m. coordinated universal time, you can bond in their base chain project and get an extra 20% cash back in BNB on the new fork. Makes sense. Carol was just bragging on X that her coin was in the top five tokens in trading volume on the base chain just recently. Well, but there's not many coins on base chain, so that makes sense. It's a very new chain. Carol has around 1.2K followers on Twitter, 300 users in her Discord, and 20 2,500 users in Telegram. From its launch on September 8th, 2023, the token has risen from 1.6 cents to 2.4 cents as of November 11th. So it seems that those courting Carol are going steady. Carol does have an unlimited supply though, and we haven't heard all of this before and learned our lessons. So let's, let's let her just mint everybody out into oblivion. That makes sense. Let's just all forget what happened in 2021, 2022, 2023. Because the staking and bonding incentives is what she's depending on to curb the inflation and community proposals, if needed. Although I was not able to find any partners with this project, their small community is moonstruck for Carol. Crypto Skillet. DeFi Gardener and Scott the Investor of all people, like these are famous guys, right? Super famous, I'm sure you've definitely heard of them, are just some of the guys that have fallen head over heels promoting Carol. These guys are probably just looking to score on Carol's incentivized referral program, which offers up to 20% reward depending on how much value you attract to the platform. Yeah, I'm sure they're just with her because they, you know, they believe in it. The roadmap for this project says that in the first quarter of 2024, they will be debuting their own decentralized exchange and adding Carol credit lending along with grants in the second quarter. Yeah, we've definitely never heard that before from every other DeFi project. Next thing you know, it's gonna be an NFT platform. Carol is expanding to multiple chains. A little earlier than she said, which was originally the goal for Q3 of 2024, and eventually, being listed on alternative exchanges. So next year, it does look like Carol will be opening up her availability <laughs> beyond only bonding and staking to potentially get some in your wallet by other means. Alpha 365 team is behind this project. There is not really any info of Alpha 365 team, but AMAs are being done by a guy under the alias Bean. Sounds legit. I mean, I like four letter founders. You know, you have Elon, Drew, founded Wolf for Finance and Precinct. Wild. Anytime a hot new project comes around with an undoxed origin, it kind of feels like a first date, but they won't tell you who they are or where they're from. Unless you're Nakamoto, I generally like to see who's behind a project. And I lead by example in that sense. Even the audit link that they have on their website resulted in an error 404 message. So there's really is nothing to go off of for legitimacy behind the project besides a handful of fanboys that are like, woo, Carol, Caroline Ellison, this definitely couldn't be a scam. But Carol's definitely shaking her money maker and it's getting plenty of attention for shaking that money maker. But will she age gracefully <laughs> with an unlimited supply? There are definitely some important questions to ask. Inevitably, there will come a reckoning when withdrawals on the system will take off the rosy colored glasses of Carol. There does seem to be some vulnerability there, but overall the sentiment is wildly positive and they are already making strides on their roadmap. In the crypto space, there are plenty of high risk, high reward opportunities that attract the DGENs that wear that as a badge of honor. But this is the first 
female version that I've ever heard of. We will have to see if Carol stays true or if she strays because she's just another pretty face that wants to come and take you for your change. Before falling for the girl next door, make sure you do your own research. This looks like it could be a promising long-term relationship at first, but I always advise you to keep your standards high when investing your time and money into any project because this one's absolutely ridiculous and I wouldn't touch it with a 10 foot pole that's literally tethered to a bomb shelter. And if you're looking for a couple of things that are actually legit, that are from like docs teams that are actually doing things in a regulated manner with the SEC and making sure that they're protecting their investors, look no further than Wolfer Finance and Presen, my friend. Wolfer Finance is literally a blockchain infrastructure company that master and validator notes for some of the top blockchains that you've definitely heard of. Ethereum, Flux, Avalanche, FTM. We even have a potential mining arm coming out in the future. And if you want a second one, Presend, a revolutionary double patent pending wallet transaction security soft that prevents cross-chain transactions and those losses from happening. And we have the ability to go out and license it to the largest institutions in the world here in a few months. And our software is fully developed already. So go check it out, try it out, and we are bringing two regulated offerings with the SEC on Akamona.com that you can invest in and be a part owner in both of our companies. If that interests you, make sure you click the first link in the description of this video. Sign up for the email alerts and I will surely let you know whenever they open up. And with that being said, if you like content like this, obviously, make sure that you smash that like button. Make sure you hit subscribe. Boom! Bang on that notification bell. Comment anything that you want in the relevant sections. I appreciate it. Thank you so much for showing up to this video. I will see you in the next one. Have a good day, everyone.